friends. I'm Coach Melanie here at Results Fitness. I'm going to be taking you through this hybrid workout today, which will be combining a little body weight and some strength. So what you'll need today is a kettlebell, lighter or heavier, your choice on that one, and some dumbbells. If you have a lighter and a heavier option for dumbbells, I would grab both just to have them nearby and handy. Also, if you have any kind of padding for your knees, be it your yoga mat or a pillow or something that you can pad your knees with, I would grab that as well. Are you ready to get warmed up? I'm ready to get warmed up. Let's make our way down to the ground. We're going to start with some Frogger rock backs. So from here, toes in, knees wide, slide your butt down and back towards your heels, and then drive your hips all the way forward. So you get that full hip extension, as well as opening up your inner hips and thighs. Nice, long, flat back. Making sure you're breathing here. Get those hips nice and warmed up for our workout today. Let's do two more. Last one here, and we are good there. All right, go ahead and come up on your knees. We're gonna do some little hip flexor dips. So if you have that padding or pillow for your knee, go ahead and put it down. Right knee is gonna be down, left knee is gonna stay up here, and then slide forward into your left knee, squeezing your right butt cheek, and then drive right back. So it's just a little rock forward, and then a little rock back. You should feel the front of your leg, the leg that's down, lighting up here. Warming up those quads, the whole front of the leg. Let's get two more. Last one. And we'll switch it up. Go ahead and bring your left knee down. Step your right foot forward. Squeeze your left butt cheek here. And then slide forward into your right knee. And go ahead and come back. So it's not a very big range of motion here. Just enough to get the front of your hip engaged, those hip flexors going. Let's get two more of those here on this side. Last one here. And we are good there, all right. Go ahead and put your pillow off to the side. Make your way to a downward facing dog. So curl your toes under, push your hips up and back for your down dog. Nice side body stretch. And then step your right foot forward to the outside of your right hand. Drop your back knee here. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling for that T rotation. Bring your right fingertips down and then reach your left arm high. Keep with the front leg forward, alternating right and left with your arms here. Let's get one more each way. Last one here. Awesome. Go ahead and step back to your down dog. Nice side body stretch real quick. And then step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Drop your back knee, chest up, butt down. Reach your left arm high. Bring it down. And then reach your right arm high. Stay with the left leg forward. Alternate right and left with your arms. Getting that rotation in your mid back and spine as well as that nice range of motion of your shoulder. Let's get one more each way. Last one here. And we are good there. All right, step back to your downward facing dog. From here, walk your hands back to your feet for your inchworm. Hang out back there for a second or two, and then walk yourself right back out to your high plank. You can throw in a push up here if you're feeling it. And then walk yourself right back to your feet. Let's get those hamstrings to activate, to warm up. Let's get one more here. Go ahead and walk your hands back to your feet. Walk it out one more time. Throw in that push-up and then walk it back and stand all the way up. We're gonna go right into some arm swings. So vertical arm swings, bring the back of your hand to the wall behind you. Really trying to get that full range of motion of your shoulder. 
warming up our shoulders for some overhead pressing that we'll be doing in today's workout. Give me one more each way. And then let's bring a horizontal. Palms face up. Open up through your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades on your back. Nice big wingspan here. Let's get two more of those. And we are good there. Let's go right into some triple extensions. So again, we're gonna warm up that back body. Drive your hips back to the wall behind you. And then come up all the way onto your toes like you're gonna take a big jump. All hips and booty here. Let's get two more. Last one here. Awesome. Let's go right into some butt kickers. So bring the heel of your foot up to your butt. You're either running it out here with me or you're marching it out. Pull that heel to your butt cheek behind you. Alternate right and left here. Either way, we're getting our arms and our legs moving, getting our heart rate up a bit. Ten more seconds. Stay with me. Three, two, one. All right. We are ready for our workout. So again, I would grab a kettlebell. I would grab two dumbbells. If you have a lighter and a heavier option, just to have them handy. And then also a pad or a pillow for your knee, okay? So starting up with this first round, we're gonna start with a kettlebell complex. So 30 seconds of each of these moves, um, then followed by a little body weight move, and then we'll get a one second rest break between rounds. So a kettlebell complex means we're gonna start off with a swing, kettlebell swings here. So you'll have your feet hip distance apart, start in that height position, kettlebell right underneath your nose, Butt down, chest stays up here. Drive that kettlebell back in between your legs and come up to that standing plank. Kettlebell's gonna float about shoulder height as you squeeze your butt and end up in that standing plank. We'll do 30 seconds of swings or RDLs. If you're not swinging, you're gonna do what's called RDL. So slide your hips back to the wall behind you. Bring your chest right over your toes. All four corners of your feet dig down. Drive your hips forward and squeeze your butt. So you're either doing 30 seconds of swings or 30 seconds of RDLs. And then right after that, we're gonna go right into some goblet squats. So you'll bring that same weight up to your chest here, elbows in at your sides, sit your butt down for your squat, elbows inside knees, drive right back up. So you're pushing your knees apart at the bottom, keeping the weight on the outer edges of your feet, going right into those goblet squats. After we get those goblet squats in, we're gonna go right to an overhead press. So feet hip distance apart, start with that weight at your chest, push it straight up overhead, and bring it right back down. So as you bring that weight up, you're not leaning back, you're not pushing your hips forward, keep that plank, drive it up, bring it right back down. After that, we'll put our weight off to the side, and we'll go right into some crawling burpees. So you'll squat down for this crawling burpee, crawl yourself out to a high plank, you can throw in a push up here, with or without your knees, and then crawl yourself back into that squat, stand or jump. So those are our exercises we'll be doing. That complex, we're gonna go right from one move to the next move. I'll tell you when to switch, and then we'll get those crawling burpees in, and then we'll have one minute of rest between each round. We're doing it three times. We're gonna start off with that complex here in about 10 seconds. So grab on to your weight for your swings, or already out, speed hip distance apart, and let's go to work. Bring that weight underneath your nose, in that hiking position, go right into that swing. Hips go back, hips go forward, squeeze your butt at the top. Keep breathing here, make sure you're not holding your breath. Either way, if you're swinging or already yelling, you're still using your legs and giving me that standing plank each and every time. Get one more swing. Awesome. Now bring that weight up to your chest. We're going to go right into goblet squats. And let's do it. Squat down, drive up. Elbows inside, knees. Keep pushing them apart at the bottom. The 
If it's bothering your back to hold the weight at your chest, you can also drop it down and hold it here as well. Either one of those options. Give me one more. Awesome. Now, bring that weight to your chest. Feet hip distance. Push it up overhead for that overhead press. Big exhales, you drive that weight up. Squeeze in your butt, squeeze in your core. Stay with me, give me two more. Last one here. Woo, all right, crawling burpees. Put that weight off to the side, squat down. Let's do it. All the way up to that high plank. You can drop your knees and throw in that push-up. Walk yourself back into that squat. Stand or jump. Come on, let's get one more. Three, two, one. All right, at home. That's round one. We're going to rest for a minute. So grab some water while you do so. I'm going to tell you a couple more things. If you have a dumbbell at home, instead of a kettlebell, you can use this also by holding it here for your goblet squats. So sitting here with it, you're doing your goblet squats. You can hold it like this for your swings if you need to or this way for your RDLs. So lots of different options for that one. And then for your overhead press, you bring it up to your chest here and push it up overhead. So if you're working with a dumbbell, that's the way to hold it. All right, we're going again in 10 seconds. We're gonna start off with that swing, then squat, press complex. Grab your weight and let's go to work. I'm gonna show you the modification up here if you're not swinging. Hips back, chest down, butt goes back, drive up, squeeze your butt at the top. So you're giving me what's called an RDL, loading up those hamstrings, using your butt to bring you back up to the top. Same concept with that swing though. You're still using your hips. Give me one more here. Three, two, one. One, bring that weight up to your chest. You got your goblet squats. Let's go to work. Right into it. Drive those knees apart. Come on, we got 10 more seconds. Let's get two more. Last one. All right, we're going to that overhead press. Bring that weight up to your chest. Let's do it. Push it straight up, come right back down. Nothing is leaning back, using your strong arms to push that weight up. Low ribs stay hugging down towards your hips. Big exhale as you drive it up. Let's get two more. Last one. Woo, all right, put it off to the side. I'm sweating. We're doing those crawling burpees. Let's go. Crawl it out to that high plank. Throw that push up in, crawl it back. Stand or jump. If you're feeling the jumps, do the jumps. Stay with me at home, we're almost there. Let's get one more. Three, two, one. All right, we got that full minute rest break again. How are we doing? Take some nice deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth. Grab a little sip of water, towel off. Reassess your weight situation. It's our last round. So maybe you go up and wait. Maybe you do more weight 
for your swings or your RDLs. All right, we're gonna go again here in about 20 seconds or so. So take your time. Make sure you have everything out that you need. Walk it off a little bit, shake it off. We got one more time through this set, one more time through this complex. Make sure you got your kettlebell handy. I'm gonna swing this time. We're going in 10 seconds. All right, that heavier weight here, if you can. And let's do it. Swing it out. Keep your feet glued down. Chest comes right over your toes if you're swinging here with me or if you're already yelling. Either one. Let's get two more. Last one. Woo! All right. Bring that weight up to your chest. We got those goblet squats. And let's go to work. Get down there on those squats. Don't cheat me at home. Just because I can't see you doesn't mean I don't know what you're doing. Let's get two more. Last one. Woo, all right. Keep that weight up in your chest. Give me that overhead press. And let's do it. Big exhale, get it up. Give me two more. Last one. Woo, all right, arms are burning. Let's get those crawling burpees in. And go to work. Reason, 
You can stay up on your feet and do cross bodies instead of those mountain climbers. Whatever you need to do to take care of yourself and get your workout in. All right, we're gonna start off with that plank hold, single arm row in about 10 seconds here. So make your way down to the ground. Make sure you have your weight that you need here. Locking your plank, make sure your feet are wider. Dig your toes down into the ground. And here we go, on the right side. Give me some of those single arm rows. Holding that plank. So I'm pushing my toes and my left hand into the ground, squeezing my butt as I squeeze my shoulder blade through my spine. Keep breathing. Stay with me. We got one more on this side. Awesome. Shake it out for a minute. We're going to go over to the other side. So again, lock into that plank. The weight's going to be in the left hand now. Both toes dig down. And let's go to work on this side. Don't let your left hip pop up. Keep it square to the ground here. Always remember, you can drop your knees and do it right here instead, if needed. Give me two more. Last one. Awesome, all right. Grab that pad for your knees, that pillow or pad. Right knee is gonna be down. Left leg is gonna be forward. Lock your shoulders and over your hips. Weights in the right hand, go to work. Big exhale as you drive it up. Keep your core tight. Squeeze your right butt cheek. Give you two more on this side. Last one. other side. Left knee down, weights in the left hand. Right foot's forward, and let's do it. Full extension. Cover up your ear with your arm. Yeah, stay with me at home. We're already over halfway through this round. One more. After this one. Woo! All right. Nice work. Mountain climbers or those standing cross bodies if you need to. Make your way down, lock in your plank in your core, and let's do it. Run it out here. Keep squeezing your core. We're already over halfway. I like going with the beat of the music. Come on. Three, two, one. All right. That's round one. We got two more rounds to go at home. We're going to start off with those plank hold, single arm rows. So go ahead and grab onto your weight here. We're going to be going in about 15 seconds. So take a few minutes, deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. Reassess your weight situation if you need to. All right. Let's make our way down to that plank, separate your feet a little wider, lock your toes down, squeeze your butt, and let's do it right side. Little squeeze with that shoulder blade to your spine. Really letting your core do a lot of work here for you, holding you up. One more. Awesome. Shake it out. We're going to the other side. Give your wrists a rest for a minute. All right, here we go. Lock it in. Let's do it. Your elbow's coming right back towards your hip. Your left hip's pointing down here. Feel yourself losing it, drop your knees. That way you can still squeeze your core 
and get the work done down here. Give me two more. Last one. Woo! All right. Grab that pillow or pad for your knee. Or roll up your mat. Right knee's going to be down. Left foot's forward. Weight's in the right hand. Squeeze your right butt. Let's go to work. That weight's going to want to pull you off balance, but you're strong enough to engage your core and keep it all centered. We got 10 seconds to go. Last one here. Woo, all right. Let's switch it up. Left knee down, right foot forward. Squeeze your left butt cheek. Let's do it left side. Keep squeezing, you got this. Last 10 seconds. One more. Woo, all right, let's do those mountain climbers. Make your way down to the ground. Lock it in and let's do it, let's run it out. You can go faster or slower. I like staying with the beat of the music. Gives me something to focus on. Ten more seconds. Stay up. Three, two, one. All right. We got one round to go at home. Towel it off, shake it out. All right. One more round, and we got a nice little finisher. We're gonna go again in about 10 seconds. Rolling out those shoulders a little bit, taking some deep breaths. Make your way down, and here we go, folks. Give it all you got this round. I got you on the modification if needed. Knees down, still a nice, nice long lever plank. One more. All right, shake it out for a minute. We'll go right over to the other side, that left side. We'll get it done. Make our way down. And let's do it left side. Make sure you're not twisting your whole torso to get that weight up. Just your shoulder blade is moving to your spine.
Put that weight off to the side. We got our mountain climbers. One more time. Make your way down to your plank. And let's do it. Let's run it out. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep up that pace. Don't get sloppy just because it's the third round. We got 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. All right. Woo! Nice work at home. Virtual high fives all around. We got a finisher. Don't go too far. A little towel off, a little sip of water. All right, let me tell you about our finisher. It's a little arm burner here. We're gonna start off with single arm bicep curls on the right side. So from here, feet are gonna be hip distance apart. You'll start with the weight in your right hand. Bend your elbow, bring the palm of your hand to your shoulder, and then bring it right back down. Single arm bicep curls. So my elbow stays in on my side, bring it up to my shoulder, and right back down. We'll do the right side, and then we'll switch it up, and I'll tell you to do the left side. After we get both of those sides done, we're gonna do a single arm tricep extension. So you'll bring that weight up overhead. From here, keeping your elbow pointing forward, you'll bring that uh, dumbbell behind your head, and then straighten your arm, bring it up overhead. Nice standing plank. Big exhale as you drive it up, feeling the back of your arm working. You're gonna do the right side, and then we'll switch it up and do the left side. Last but not least, we have yoga push-ups. So for this one, you'll make your way to your downward facing dog. You'll roll forward to your high plank, elbows and insides, push up, drive up, give me that down dog, drive forward to your high plank, push up, elbows in, and right back to your down dog. So those are our three moves that we're gonna do for this finisher, three rounds. All right, I think we're ready to do this. Let's make our way up to our feet. We're going in 10 seconds. Starting off with those bicep curls on the right side, feet hip distance apart, glue them down, and let's go to work. My elbow's staying in on my side here, and I'm maintaining that plank the whole time. So I'm not rocking my body back and forth to get that weight up. Give you a little side view here. We're already over halfway through on this side. Give me two more. Last one. Awesome, we're gonna switch it up. Let's go right to the left side, let's do it. Let's bang it out on the left side. Notice how my elbow isn't moving forward or back. I'm literally just bending and straightening my elbow. But it's staying locked in on my side body. You gotta look at your arms, make sure they're doing the work. Give me one more. Awesome, all right. Now we have that tricep extension on the right side. Go ahead and grab your weight, bring it up overhead. Elbow points forward, and let's go to work. Straighten your elbow, and then bring it right back down. I'll give you a little side view. Forgot which side I have my weight on. Yeah, there we go. Bend and straighten your elbow. Keeping that elbow locked in right over your shoulder the whole time. Give me one more on this side. Woo, all right, let's switch it up. Let's go to that left side. Bring that weight up overhead, bend your elbow, and straighten it. If the weight that you have at home is too heavy, you can also do this with both hands. So both elbows point out, just like that. If you need to do it with two arms, go ahead and do so. If not, stay with this single arm with me. If you got a light enough weight, one more. All right, at home. Put that weight off to the side. You got your yoga push-ups. Let's make our way down to our down dog. Hips up and back. Let's go to work. Drive forward, elbows in its side to that push-up. Drive right back. You're giving me that down dog each and every time. 
Heels towards the ground. One more. All right, I feel those arms pumping. Look at them. Yeah, you're feeling it at home. We got two more rounds to go. We're gonna go again in about 15 seconds. So take some deep breaths, shake out your arms a little bit, those noodly arms. All right, let's make our way back up to our feet. Here we go. Bicep curls on the right, and let's go to work. Bend that elbow, bring it back down. Keep everything nice and tight. Little arm again will finish her today. One more. Awesome, let's switch it up. Go to your left hand. Let's go right to work on this side. Oh yeah, I feel my biceps and my triceps. We've got about 10 more seconds. Should be able to get in three more. Last one here. Awesome, all right, we got that tricep extension. Grab your weight in your right hand, bring it right behind your head, and let's go to work. So notice how my elbow is staying right over my shoulder. It's not jutting around. Try to control it as much as you can. So you're not shaking all over. Last one. Awesome, all right. Let's shake it out and bring it to the other side. Grab it in your left hand, bring it up, and let's go to work. I'm feeling the back of my arm. I hope you are too at home. A little harder to control on my left side, my non-dominant side. So do your best with your non-dominant side too. Let's get one more. Woo, all right. Put that weight off to the side. Yoga push-ups. Make your way down for your down dog. Curl your toes under, hips up and back. And let's do it.
going to grab that weight in your right hand, bring it up overhead, nice standing plank, and let's do it. Uh, spin a little so you can see this side view. Stay with me. We got less than 10 seconds. Two more. Last one. Get it. Awesome. Let's switch it up. Going to the other side. Bring that weight behind your head and let's do it. Stay with it. I know you're getting tired. We're almost there. We're already halfway through this round. Give me two more. Last one. All right, at home. Put that weight down. We got our yoga push ups. Last 30 seconds right here. Make your way down to your down dog. Hips up and back. Let's get it.